Hi guys, there's a bit of a political storm brewing in Ireland at the moment over this image. First, a little context for people who are not familiar with what's happening, and I'll try and be as brief as possible. Now, the Irish government had an eviction ban in place until a few days ago, the 1st of April, that applied to no-fault evictions. Before it was lifted, opposition parties in the Dáil, or the Irish Parliament, brought forward a number of motions and even attempted a vote of no confidence in the government to stop the ending of the ban. All of that failed, and the termination of the ban went ahead. Protests took place mainly in Dublin, on the streets and outside the Parliament, against the ending of the ban, which is predicted to see thousands of people made homeless as there is a lack of accommodation available. The artist behind the picture was interviewed as part of a panel, and I'll explain in a moment why the image was so controversial. Photos were edited yeah. by me. They were actually and that's, posted. That's not your painting, then. No, that's my painting. Yeah. That's not what you asked me, though. And of course, you that's, said, that's no, not, no, hang that, on. That's let not me consistent. just ask me a question. That's let me finish my point. Yeah, let me finish my point, mate. Uh, I didn't make that picture. That was from a story, and that was taken from the, the Instagram stories of that social centre, which is a social centre in Stony Batter, right? Right, with your painting which was, that you uh, shared. Just, will you be quiet for a second? Let me finish if you ask me a question. Um, the print, the last one, so when I was saying these are issued for charity, the last one they were okay. issued for charity was to raise money for... Can we just get Adam's views on the Gardaí on the Gardaí well, Sheikhana? Sorry, I'm in the middle of talking here. You, you asked me something. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But what, what about Adam's to... views about the Gardaí Sheikhana, that they aid bailiffs carrying out evictions, that they protect bailiffs, that the bailiffs are covered by the Gardaí? When he says, if God forbid, a property developer doesn't get their way, they, on Gardaí Sheikhana, will be on it like a fly on shite. Like, do you want to, so Adam, Adam, do, you want to do you want to answer is that, is that his respectful that? view of on Garda I, well, I guess my view on that would be that there is no way for the Gardaí to respond to an eviction, legal or illegal, other than turning up, standing up, and as you say, supporting the bailiffs standing right, around doing yeah, that. So, but Fiona, so, on so, this point, sorry, here, sorry. okay, so the issue here is is not so much about what the police do, the Garda Shikana do, but this image itself, because it. For the general public, I don't think there is an, really an issue, but it's really, it's created a storm politically. Now, why is it a problem? So you see this image, it's a depiction of an eviction from the 1800s in Ireland, when generally it was English landlords evicting Irish tenants uh, into poverty, into destitution. Um, and in many cases, the the evictions were carried out with the support of the Royal Irish Constabulary, the police of, at the time. The the police here have been replaced with the current police force, the Irish police, which are the which are called the um Angardashiakona. Now the the problem here is not so much the image itself, but that it was retweeted by somebody. And this is where the political storm started. I honestly believe that it's the, the image itself is not the problem for most people, the problem or politically the problem. The problem is who tweet, retweeted it. It was retweeted by a TD from the Sinn Féin party. Now Sinn Féin, of course, are the political wing of the IRA. And the IRA have been involved, the provisional IRA have been involved in the killing of police officers, both in Northern Ireland and in the Republic. So a number of Garda Síochána have been killed by um, members of the IRA, either directly or indirectly. The most ho ho high profile is Jerry McCabe. Um, so this, so the fact that this was retweeted by a member of Sinn Féin created a massive storm. Later, the the TD in question met with the police force, met with uh, the the union representing police officers, and uh, cle cleared up the situation. Now, it's allegedly, he apologised. I don't know if that's true or not, but the there is a very difficult relationship, it seems, between Sinn Fein, who will eventually become um, the next government. You know, according to polls, Sinn Fein will likely become the biggest party they'll either win an outright majority or they will form a coalition and form a government. But they will be in charge, their minister will be in charge of the police. And many police officers are not happy about that. And the fact that this image, which depicts the police in a very negative light, was retweeted by a Sinn Féin TD, is um, seen as very problematic for them. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.